Sorry, um, how did it go today? Oh, it went well. You know, good group of guys. We competed. Um, it's fun. You know, every workout I do, I feel like I learned a lot about myself. You know, I learned a lot about this organization. And it was a great workout. I had fun, you know. It's all about having fun, learning about yourself, giving your all every day. So it was a great workout. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't you get, like, cleared for the draft recently or something? Yes, um, I got cleared. My name was on that list to uh, go back to college. But, you know, I wanted to stick with this process, you know, betting on myself. and. You know, I was learning a lot about myself going through this process after the elite camp and all that, and I got cleared to be eligible for the draft because I wanted to stay in this process, keep working out, and you know, keep learning. So did you have pre-draft workouts with teams before that, or did it just kind of all start after? Um, I had a few before that, uh, but you know, I still had some more that were, that were supposed to get planned, so I was like, I want to stay in. And once that came, you know, I got a few more. Uh, just had the heat yesterday morning, this one. Got a few more after this, so. Yeah, where do you head after this? Uh, Los Angeles. Yeah, I go to the Lakers after this uh, next week. So go back home today, get some treatment, get, get better in the gym, and you know, keep going. I uh, looked up your LSU bio. It says Lakers are your favorite team. I can guess why. Uh, yeah, I what grew was up. that going to be like? <laughs> uh, I grew up in that. I basically grew up in that arena. You know, I was born. My dad and Kobe won a championship. You know, Kobe was like a mentor to me. My dad, obviously, my dad. Uh, been around that gym since I was born. So you know, I know that place like the back of my hand. But you know, I take every day one at a time. You know. Today I'm focused on the Wizards. You know I'm not not worried about uh, any other workouts right now. I gotta take it one day at a time. So when I get to LA, I'll be focused on the Lakers. It's gonna be fun playing in the gym that my dad won championships in. So it's gonna be fun. I think the Wizards list you at six ten. What would you say your height is? Said I was six eleven today. Okay. Uh, where's my boy in the training room? He said I was six eleven today. So without shoes six nine, with shoes six eleven. So you know I'm growing a little bit. Hopefully I hit seven foot one day, but yeah, I'm you think 6'11", you are still no more 6'10". <laughs> you, you think you are still growing a little bit? Yeah, I hope I'm still growing. Uh, no, I thought he was going to say 6'10 when he measured me, but he's like 6'11". You know, I was cheering. I was like, yep, I'm getting taller. So, uh, How would you describe your game for those of us who, you know, didn't watch LSU that closely? Um, I would describe my game as, you know, I want to be one of the smartest players on the, on the floor. You know, I try to learn stuff from every different player. You know, I watch a lot of film, try to take a little bit from my favorite players' games, add it in mind, long, athletic, can rebound, can shoot. So I can do everything. If I got to bring the ball up, you know, I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, I want to make everybody else around me better. You know, I want to also be the best player on the floor at all times. You know, if I'm not having a good scoring day, you know, I'm going to have a great defense day. So I try to bring everything in my game. You know, the game evolves every day. There's probably a kid now who is 11 years old, windmilling, so, you know, the game evolves every day, so I try to add a little bit of everything, try to be the best I can, dribbling, shooting. I work on everything every day, so. When did you uh, kind of realize this was possible, the, the NBA for you? Um, I would say this year, you know, a few years ago, I was in the hospital getting heart surgery. You know, I wasn't, I was thinking this would never happen, being, being able to do NBA workouts. So, you know, this year I got better, and, you know, I woke up one day, I was like, I want to I go to the NBA again. Like, I. I had that dream going to high school, but you know, sitting at surgery, I wasn't really worried about basketball. I was trying to get healthy. But once I got back, you know, I was like, man, I want to make it to the NBA. You know, after all this I went through, making it to the NBA would be a dream come true. Make my family proud. And, you know, also be a role model for the kids who, who went through heart surgery and all that stuff who play sports. So, you know, it's been a dream of mine since I was a little kid. And, you know, now I'm doing NBA workouts. It's a dream come true. It's a blessing. And, you know, I'm, it's amazing to be here. I'm just excited. Do you draw inspiration from Jeff Green at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to Jeff Green a lot. Uh, you know, I, when I found out he had to go through a heart surgery, you know, it wasn't the same surgery, but it's still open heart surgery. You know, he told me, keep going. And seeing him play after that, you know, that's a real big inspiration. So shout out to Jeff Green. Um, call him Uncle Jeff Green. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to him. And he, he uh, brought my spirits up a lot when I talked to him because I never knew he went through that until I went through mine. So, you know, it'd be, it's good to be a part of that family, me and Jeff Green, the heart surgery family. So. What uh, what required the, the surgical correction? What was the issue that got there? Um, it was something that I never knew I had. Uh, you know, when I was a little kid, I had something called a heart ablation. Uh, that's when I was five years old, and uh, I never had any complications after that. I got a stress test every year. You know, I was getting cleared to play basketball every single year, and then when I was 18, uh, I had to get cleared into UCLA. The trainer Shane, he saw my medical records. I had to get that ablation, and you know, he was like. I don't like how that looks. We'll make you a heart monitor. We're gonna get a CAT scan, CT scan, and MRI. And you know, I think it was a CAT scan I've never gotten before. And that's what found my problem. And you know, right coronary artery. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda 
didn't want to listen to what they were saying when they told me, so I don't know exactly what they did, but you know, I'm healthy now, but shout out to Shane. Uh, he's also a trainer in the NBA now. Uh, he was at UCLA, but you know, he saved my life. So yeah, he, he deserves the world. Shout out to Shane. You, you played with Tari Eason, right? Yeah, Tari, that's my boy. Yeah, what can you tell us about him? Tari, he wants to play basketball for sure. He, he's an amazing, aggressive player, you know. We're both LA guys, so, you know, we, we got along pretty well. Uh, we also live in the same room uh, at LSU. So shout out Tari. I know he's in this process. I don't know if he's done this workout yet, he but, has, yeah. oh, he has? Yeah. Man, Tari's an amazing player. I can't wait to see what he's gonna do at the next level. Uh, you know, great kid. That's my boy. Love Tari, that's, he's funny. <laughs> hey, Sharif, can you take me back to your G League camp experience? Um, just how was that and how did it prepare you, I guess, for right now? Um, you know, I feel like the G League elite camp opened a lot of doors for me. Uh, you know, in college, I didn't get a lot of opportunity. I still worked every day. I uh, didn't let it bring my spirits down. But, you know, me getting that invite to that elite camp, you know, that was such a blessing. That opened a lot of doors for me. The first day, you know, uh, I did all right. Didn't do too well. But the second day, you know, I was like, I got I to gotta show people what I can do. You know, all these NBA scouts are here. All these people are coming to watch. Not just everyone else I'm playing against, but I got to find a way to stand out. So, you know, I have the only double-double at the camp. So that opened up a lot of doors. Uh, a lot of teams reached out to me after that. And, you know, I'm... Blessed to be invited to that, uh, you know, God was, has been on my side and that elite camp was awesome. I wish I got invited to the uh, combine, but you know, I didn't let that stop me from keep working. I was just blessed to get invited to that one. Uh, also had these workouts and, you know, shout out to the Wizards for having me in here. Awesome organization and yeah. And also you kind of alluded to it, you know, your dad, but is there anybody in the league that you can have go to for advice and, you know, get help with doing this process as well? Yeah, there's a lot of people. Uh, I used to, me and Bradley Beal, uh, elite, used to go at it all the time at AAU. So I saw uh, Bradley in there. We was talking a little bit. Uh, Jordan Shackle played on the same AAU team as me. Uh, Isaiah Todd, like there's a, I have a bunch of friends in here and a bunch of older guys that I've known that I've played with my dad, that I've known my dad that I can go to for advice. But, you know, I like learning stuff on my own. Uh, if I need help, I'll ask, but even my dad, he's like, I didn't ask. He asked some people for advice, but he's like, it's better if you learn it on your own. and you will be prepared for when you get to the next level. So I do ask advice. I kind of cheat a little bit, try to steal a little bit of tips from people here and there. But I like learning on this. I like learning this process on my own. You know, just something new I learn every day. Every workout I learn something new. So I love it. And then what is it that keeps you motivated? Man, just everything I went through keeps me motivated. Uh, I just want to play basketball. That's all I ever want to do. So um, you know, my family keeps me motivated. Uh, you know, Kobe, my grandpa, who recently passed away, keep me motivated. Uh, being able to play the sport again and being healthy keeps me motivated. Every day I take off my shirt, look at this card, that really keeps me motivated. So, you know, it's a lot of motivation. I just like playing basketball. I want to keep going. I don't ever want to stop playing. So I love playing basketball. So, yeah. What was the conversation with Bradley? Just like, hey, you trash yeah. talk? Well, or? I just said he was doing work. I didn't want to bother him. Uh, so I just said, what's up? But if he's still in there, I'm going to talk to him. But. Our AU teams used to go at it for real. So uh, that was like a few years ago in the in Vegas. It was my dad was coaching Cal Supreme. He was coaching uh, Bradley Bill Elite, and I think they beat us. I don't know. If, I don't know if we beat their team. They were really good, but you know, it was it, those were always the most packed games. You know, people lines down the street. You know, people staying on the sides, both sides of the court field. So those games used to be those games used to be fun. Sometimes we used to scuffle a little bit, but. Bradley's been my boy. You know, he's seen me since I was in high school, and, you know, he's real cool. And I love his game.